What's up you guys it's Deep OE and today we will see a simple method on how to give this high end skin softening effect to a photo in photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours. Let's get started. So this is the image to which we will be giving the high end skin softening effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial, then you already know the drill. Links in the description below. So let's first start by creating a duplicate of this image. So for that press control or command on Mac plus J. And now the next thing we need to do is remove all the blemishes and soften the skin. So for that select mixture brush tool. And then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select the brush as soft round. And then you need to make sure that you clean the brush after each stroke has been checked and not the load brush. After that you need to set the following properties. Wet as 5%, load as 75%, mix as 90% flow as 100% and then you can keep the smoothing as 0% and then using the mixture brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to remove the blemishes and soften the skin you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard but you need to make sure that you don't increase the size of the brush too much so for that i'm keeping the size of the brush to around 175 pixels and then using the brush tool let me just hover over those areas so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image now while hovering in any particular area you need to make sure that you hover in the direction of the shape of that particular area and maintain the contour of that shape as well So now as you can see now all the blemishes from the forehead has been removed now let me just do the same thing for all other areas. So now as you can see now we have removed all the blemishes from the face and we have softened the skin as well. Now for the sake of this tutorial I am just targeting the face but you can go ahead with the rest of the body where you can see the skin. Now let me just show you the before and after of the effect we just did. So this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see as we have softened the skin it has removed the texture from the skin as well which makes it look like a little bit plastic and we need to solve that thing so for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to create a duplicate of this layer so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j. And then we need to drag this duplicate layer at the top so let me just do that. Now in order to bring back the texture of the skin which we have lost we need to desaturate this image so for that go to image and then adjustment and then select the option as desaturate. So once you have desaturated this image after that you need to go to filter and then other and then select the option as high pass and then you need to set the radius to around 3 pixels and then you can click on ok and then you need to set the blend mode of this layer to linear light. So now as you can see now we have brought back the skin texture now let me just zoom in and show it to you. So this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see it has brought the textures of the skin back but also as you can see it has sharpened some of the other areas which did not require sharpening and we need to remove those things so for that we need to click on add layer mask icon. And then we need to invert this mask which will hide the complete effect so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus i in order to invert it. So now as you can see now the mask has been filled with that of the black color after that you need to select brush tool. And then select the brush as soft round. 
and then you can minimize this thing and then you need to make sure that the opacity of the brush is set to 100% also the flow of the brush is set to 100% and then you need to click on the foreground color and then set the foreground color as white and then you can click on ok and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the area where you want to bring back the skin texture which is face for us so let me just do that Oh, also I forgot to mention that over here as well you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard and then let me just continue so once you have brought back all the details after that you can reduce the opacity of this layer to 70% so let me just do that so now as you can see now this is looking so much proper now let me just show you the before and after of this layer so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image so now this was the before and now this is the after now after that let me just show you the overall before and after so this was the before and now this is the after after that let me just make this image fit into the document so now as you can see now this is looking so much better so yeah that's it guys that's the final image i hope you guys like this short and simple video on how to give this high-end skin softening effect to a photo in photoshop now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye